Hello, my name is Rita and I'm from Arcadium, the creators behind the world's most played games. Today I want to show you some of the basics of the most popular card game of all time, Solitaire. Depending on where you're located in the world, you may know this game as Klondike Solitaire or Patience. I enjoy this game because it really helps me relax and it's pretty easy to pick up. If you want to try it for yourself later, look for the link to the game in the description below. So let's get started with some solitaire basics. The classic version of this game uses 52 playing cards. First, the cards are shuffled, and then 28 cards are dealt out onto the table in seven tableau piles. The bottom card in the tableau faces up. The object of the game is to place all of the cards into the foundation piles. There's a foundation pile for each of the four suits, diamonds, clubs, hearts, and spades and they must be stacked in ascending order from ace to king. And finally, you have the reserve. This is where the remaining 24 cards are stacked face down. Speaking of the reserve, you'll want to open the reserve first. While it can be tempting to immediately begin moving cards at the start of a new game, you should first open the reserve to see what other options are available. One thing I like about this game is that there's no limit on how often you cycle through the reserve. This means you can look through the whole deck if you want to. Another rule of thumb I follow is to avoid emptying a pile without having a king to put down. In other types of solitaire, empty tableaus can be valuable for organizing your cards, but that's not the case in Klondike. Kings are the only card that can be placed in an empty space. So moving cards away without anything to replace them effectively leaves you with one less tableau to play with. Another tip is to focus on uncovering cards that are face down. As we learned from the previous tip, empty tableaus are only helpful if you already have a king. There are only four kings in a deck, so emptying more than four would be a waste of space. For this reason, it's usually most effective to focus on moving cards out of the longest tableaus on the right side of the board. And finally, because you're playing an online version of Klondike Solitaire, you have unlimited use of the undo function if you change your mind about a move. There's no penalty for using the undo button in this game, which I take full advantage of while I play. Remember, Klondike Solitaire is a game of patience and perseverance. You won't want a game in a single move. So now, all that's left is for you to put your newfound solitaire skills to the test. Let us know if this video was helpful or if you pick up any new techniques as you play. If you have enjoyed this video or would like to see more solitaire techniques, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to Arcadium on YouTube. Also, please click the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching and have fun playing.